Hey guys, Tennessee Frank here. Uh, just wanted to kind of maybe get a little more gun related content back on my channel. I uh, know I've been kind of struggling to do that lately, uh, partly because of unemployment, really don't have a lot of spare money to throw toward guns or knives or any real gear. Um, but uh, also because, you know, you got ADHD, you tend to hyper focus on uh, one or, or, you know, one hobby at a time. I was going to say one or more, but no, it's never one or more. It's generally one at a time. Um, I was doing guns for a while, then I got into knives, did that for a while. Uh, then I got into my computers real heavy. Now I'm kind of focusing more on my music, getting back into playing guitar. Uh, but I, I figured I'd try to throw some more gun-related content your way. So uh, what we're going to look at here is one that I've had for a while. And uh, this is set up right now. Has been safety checked loaded magazine though and uh, I got the hundred grain frangibles in there from Team Never Quit for around the house but uh, yeah this is set up for home defense right now and uh, what I'm running here is a TLR3 light that gives me a light on the gun plus I always keep a light next to the bed uh, I have a uh, 24 round magazine with the plus two bottom off of this 31 round so that gives me 26 and when there's one in the chamber I have 27 rounds in what I consider a fairly handy little package for home defense um, if you had to grab this you know get up and you're in your pajamas and really don't have any spare magazines I'd say you'd be pretty well armed um, picked up this holster off of uh, Amazon not really sure the make um, I know the price was good it was like 45 bucks and uh, that way I can have something to, to put the gun in while the light is attached. But yeah, this, this rides in the drawer next to the bed. If it's needed, it's, it's right there. Got the light and everything. Good to go. Of course, as you see, I got my excess big dots on there. And uh, my, my Infidel slide cover plate. But uh, just as quick as this, we can go ahead and change this over let me grab a nickel we'll go ahead and undo this set that light aside and like I said this has been safety checked and uh, just as quick as this set that magazine down we can grab a, a 15 round factory mag I did put Vickers Tactical Mag Bottoms on it. Gives you a little more grip for stripping your mags. Toss that baby in there. Of course we have the uh, CompTAC Infidel holster. And now we have an inside the pant rig that's fairly compact and easy to carry. So this can go from a viable home defense gun to a really good concealed carry gun. Of course, I've modified this gun quite a bit. Um, it's got the uh, uh, talon grips, which I love. They're the rubberized. Of course, like I said, the excess big dot sights and slide cover plate. Um, it has the titanium pins. They're titanium coated. Uh, those are from Zev. It also has a uh, Zev connector in it, the Pro connector, and a six pound trigger spring, which I like. And I do have the Overwatch trigger in this guy too, which uh, gives you a, a fairly short take up. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. And then reset is like right there. So that works out real good. And like I said, it's been modified to where I really like it set up this way. Real easy to uh, go ahead and put a 17 round mag in. So you can go ahead and have uh, full size capabilities. Here's a MagTech. They're making the 17 round. They also make a 15 round. Um, but I wanted to get a couple other 17s and give them a try. And uh, normally what I'll do for concealed carry, 15 round, 
inside waistband and then I'll take a factory mag well, which if you notice this has the Gen 5 base plate which doesn't really matter on this because it doesn't even come close slip that in a pocket holster so I'll have a spare mag in a pocket 15 plus 1 rounds right there and I'm good to go plus uh, you have a lot of other holster options if you don't like this style they do make a uh, hybrid style holster that works and uh, personally for me this style over here is a little more comfortable for outside the waistband uh, I like the Serpas I like this locking feature they have I know a lot of people don't care for that but if you train with it and practice keeping your finger off the trigger works as good as anything and it secures your gun so it's not going to slip out um, plus I still have the the, what was a 33 round? It's 31 now. And uh, you can always toss that in there if you, if you run into a zombie apocalypse or something. But yeah, that would give me 31 and 1, so I'd have 32 rounds in there. But uh, I think for around the house, these uh, 24 round mags with the plus 2 base plate is just a little bit more practical. But yeah, that's, that's the Glock 19. Just a kind of a quick look. Accuracy wise, uh, dug out some targets and we'll take a quick look at some of them. See, here's a, a group I shot at seven yards. Not too bad. Here's another group. I mean, it's keeping them right in there. Here's some uh, four shot groups that I shot at seven yards on another target. And just four rounds. That one kind of is a little bit of a flyer, but you can see it'll group. Here's another one. I changed mags and did four, 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 and three for 15. And it puts them in there. I mean, it's not anything you're going to win a bullseye competition with. But for a combat handgun, um, I, I think there's a, a, you know, a lot of merit to the Glock 19. A lot of people love these. A lot of the trainers are running these. Um, if you look at like Reed Hendricks, uh, John Lovell, uh, James Jaeger did for quite a while until Smith brought out a 19 size uh, uh, M&P. But they're just there's trainers all over the place that stake their lives and reputations on their firearms. They're running the Glock 19, and there has to be a reason for that. A um, lot of civilians, tons of us, are running the 19s. And uh, I think it's because the overall size is easy to carry. You have all the magazine options, all kinds of accessories, holsters. I mean, next to the 1911, I'd say this is one of the guns you can do the most with in modifying. Um, so for, for my money, Glock 19, two thumbs up. This is going to be the one to go to if you're looking for your first handgun or if you just want something... Uh, to have in your arsenal that you can uh, use as a bedside gun, concealed carry gun, whatever you want to do, Glock 19 will get her done. So, uh, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. You guys have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank, I'm out of here.